Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so today we're gonna look over this comic book effect that you can do on the airlight motion and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. It's pretty easy and a quick effect to do. So what you're gonna have to do is have your clip on an airlight motion and mask it out so the background and the subject can be separated. So now what you're gonna do is select your subject layer and duplicate it now you're gonna take the layer that is on under the main layer of the subject right there then you're gonna click on add a new effect then you're gonna click add effect then search for a solid color right there now you're gonna put this color white you can hide the superior layer to see what's going on under there just like this now go on effects add a new effect and add turbulent displace right there now uh, put the strength a little, down a little bit like so and what you're gonna do now is click on evolution and go to the end of your clip and scroll scroll it up a little bit like this so it can move all the way along your video so now what you're gonna do is scroll down and click on octaves and just bump it up to nine octaves like this so just scale it up a little bit and what you're gonna do now is add a new effect and you're gonna search for time quantization right there click on it and put it at four or three or not put it at seven or eight something like that now you can unhide the layer right there and you, you have, you'll have this paper effect now what you're gonna do is add drop shadow to the paper effect and the main subject so I'm gonna start with the main subject and I'll add the shadow right there just right clicking on this <clears throat> and I'll do the same for the paper the shadow is already added but you can do it here you go so now what we're gonna do is add the comic book um, effect on all of the clips so we're gonna start with the main subject we're gonna go on effects add a new effect and go on drawing and edges and select cmyk right there now adjust it uh, to your liking but me personally I'll adjust it just like that I'll put the strain the strain up that's basically all I would do just put the strain up like this to have a little bit more contrast and for the background you're just gonna have to apply the same effect but you're gonna increase the amount uh, I mean decrease the amount just not so much though just like this and increase the strength like so well, let me decrease a little bit more so yeah this is how it, it's supposed to look it's giving like a comic book vibe a little bit like like, like comics you know so the tutorial is over i hope you enjoyed the video hope the video was helpful if it was don't forget to leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel my instagram and don't forget to comment in the comment and see you later in another video